This is Elias walking you through the steps of Hirschberg test, which is a gross estimation of whether the eyes are straight uh, or whether the, there is a manifest deviation. It also tells you about the direction of the deviation and gives you a gross estimation of the magnitude of deviation. So in the Hirschberg test, what you are doing is you are doing a corneal light reflex test and observing the light reflex which is coming on which is being reflected back from the cornea so in a completely orthotropic or straight eyes the light reflex that you will see will be coming from the center of the pupil this is orthotropia if there is a manifest deviation let's say an exotropia you will see A light reflex coming from the center of the pupil in one eye and a light reflex either coming from the nasal pupil margin, the limbus or between the limbus and pupil margin. So if it is coming from the nasal pupil margin that's a 15 degrees or 30 prism diopter of exotropia. If it's coming from the limbus that's a 45 degrees or 90 prism di diopter of exotropia and if it's coming from between the pupil margin and limbus that's a 30 degrees or 60 prism diopter of exotropia now in patients with an esotropia one eye would show the light reflex which is coming from the center of the pupil while in the other eye you would see a light reflex coming from the temporal pupil margin or the temporal limbus or in between the temporal limbus and uh, pupil margin. And as already mentioned, if this is coming from the pupil margin, that's a 15 degrees or 30 prism diopter of esotropia. If it's coming from the limbus, it is a 45 degrees or 90 prism diopter of esotropia, and in between the two, it is a 30 degrees or 60 prism diopter of esotropia. Same would be the case for hypertropia, where one eye would show a central reflex, while the other eye would show a reflex on the pupil margin which is lower and in hypotropia you will see a central reflex in one eye whereas you will see the light reflex on the upper pupil margin upper limbus or in between the limbus and pupil on the upper side so what we have to do is we sit in front of the patient and shine a light from a near target and ask the patient to look in that light and as you can see here both the light reflexes are completely in the center of the pupil in both eyes. In this kid uh, the light reflex in the left eye is in the center of the pupil where the light reflex in the right eye is on the pu temporal pupil margin so this shows a right esotropia of 15 degrees or 30 prism diopter and then in the other kid the light reflex in the right eye is in the center of the pupil whereas the light reflex in the left eye is on the pupil margin of the nasal side and this shows an exotropia of the left eye of 15 degrees or 30 prism diopter Thank you.